ladies and gentlemen, Evolve 72 and Evolve 73 have kicked off the Flow Slam era with one amazing moment after another. Be sure to watch the video on demand at flowslam.tv. And now the focus shifts. Evolve 74, December 10th, Queens, New York. Evolve 75, December 11th, Melrose, Massachusetts. Bro, I heard Jeff Cobb's going to be there. Bro. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from Evolve 72 and Evolve 73. Yeah, high under the bottom rope. And up and over with a double stop on the apron. Innovative offense from Kincaid, who may be looking to take a chance here. Oh! Sunset flip power bomb into that steel wall on the outside. Shoulders down, Hero rolls through. Oh boy. Just got him caught here. Williams trying to fight. No, 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 no. Gonna hook that other arm. Williams trying to block. Right on his head. What? And this place has come unglued here. Well, you know what? I'm going to stand up for Tracy Williams, too. Cross face. Hero is trapped, hot sauce, Tracy Williams wrenching back. It's over! He tapped! Chris Hero tapped! Chris Hero just tapped out! Tracy Williams! Hot sauce, Tracy Williams! The biggest singles win of his evolved career, and it was an instant classic! As you can see on Ethan Page's booty, it says, the era of ego and the era of ego is full of chaos so after i ruined johnny gargano's little moment i just pinned your chosen number one contender i've got a couple more letters that i want to talk about the next time we're here in the booth those letters aren't involved they sure as hell aren't b-r-o those letters I want to talk about are C O D Y. Because, Cody, your little fantasy tour on the independence is coming to an end. Because this is my time, my era, with my gatekeepers and my company with the logo on my ass. Between the boards, where Gulak had been. Well, wrestlers don't train to work in a ring that is not assembled. In fact, the first thing most wrestlers learn is how to assemble a ring. Dragon Sleeper, he's got it locked in. Tim Thatcher is in big trouble here. Dragon Sleeper! Okay. I don't know if you saw me just walk in the door there, but I have spent 24 hours off a plane at 7.30, paid $70 for a rip-off New York taxi to get here to talk to you. Well, Julia, I just said catch point is a failure. Yes, it is. That was phase one, and me saved it all from itself and mission complete. But bro, 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 that word is to mean something to me. And my business is a family, a fraternity, and brother or bro is every short respect to each other. To talk to each other like equals to no one that understands our world because of you. When I hear bro, I trench. I think of me on my knee right there, extending my hand, and you can't. 
If Evolve is broke, Evolve is a disgrace, just like you're a former disgraced UFC fighter. Oof. I have to save this place. I will do whatever it takes. It's a part of me. I raised it from a child with potential. In a world wide as a teenager. And I want to see it flourish into a blossoming adult. In order to do that, I know what I must do now. The only mission I am focused on right now for saving the ball for itself is exterminating my riddle. Well, Matt Riddle's not very hard to find. It's a man of few words, Matt Riddle. Well, why not let Galloway stew? Why give him what he wants? Galloway is livid that Riddle refuses to engage with him here. It's right out of the Art of War by Sun Tzu. Sailor nose to nose, and again just grinding him right back down. And it's the arm. Sabre right back to the arm and then grabs the head scissors. And again, D.A. Brewer asking Drew Gulak if he wants to quit. He says no. And now Gulak trying to wriggle his way away from Zack Sabre Jr. Trying to keep those legs away. And Sabre, as we've seen in this matchup, likes to inflict punishment on more than one part of the anatomy at a time. He's got the head trap. Looking for the arm. Gulak very close to the ropes, but not sure if he realizes it. Hammerlock switches it up. Gulak, though, uses the wrist of Zack Sabre Jr. to free himself, and then right to the armbar. Trying to dislocate the shoulder there. And now going after that inj injured appendage. It was the bone between the elbow and the wrist that sustained the deep bruise. At the hands of all ego, Ethan Page. And some swelling, some fluid in the arm as well. And now, that arm is hammerlock. And the, legs, the legs trapped as well here. Darby Allen from the back just clipped the knee. High tails it to the outside. Staring down Ethan Page before taking it to the back, and the gatekeeper's eliminated. Well, Ethan Page hadn't been taking Darby Allen very seriously. I bet he is now. Hero showing Dustin how it's done. Leaping forearm. Oh, bad timing! Rolling elbow! Super kick hero sprawling the floor. Took me suicida from Nice. Yay high. Williams and Gulak now surrounding Dustin. Dustin feeling the wrath of catch point. Bree Buster. Cross face. Dustin's in trouble here. And he's tapping. He's tapping. The team of Dustin and his hero have been eliminated. 
Puts on the brakes, ducks through. Got him up. Pump handle, no, countered by Yehai. Plants him. Koji clutch. Koji clutch on Tony Nice. It's over. It's over. Yehai and Williams. Jubilation for Williams and Yehi as they stare across the Nice, who offers the hand to Hot Sauce Tracy Williams and Fred Yehi. Tony Nice all class in defeat. And Drew Gulak looks at the man. He once held those championships with. And Hot Sauce extends the hand, as does Fred Yehi, the man who founded the catch point philosophy, Drew Gulak. And he just, he just walked out on Williams and Yehi. What's going on? And that is just a sample of what you'll see when you check out the video on demand of Evolve 72 and Evolve 73 at flowslam.tv. So it'll be live streams December 10th, December 11th, and you heard it, the Evolve debut of Jeff Cobb, the Evolve debut of Dick Togo. We hope you'll be there. We hope you'll join us. So for Trevor Adams, I'm Joanna Rose. Thank you for watching.